If you're fed up having to keep pumping up what seems like a slow puncture every morning, here are a couple of quick and easy tips that may save you having to buy a new tyre at the tyre shop. In my opinion, it's always worth checking your tyres before you go to the shop, so you know yourself just whether you're likely to need a new tyre or not. If the tyre has good tread depth and not that old, then look around the tread for obvious screws, nails and such like. If there is, then taking these out will often cause the tyre to quickly flat, locating the problem. If this is then in the middle section of the tyre, it can easily be safely repaired but not if it's located on or near the outside edge or of course the sidewall. Also take out any stone and flint debris with a small screwdriver. If you hear hissing there's your problem again. Obviously you'll have to move the car forward slightly to see the bottom part of the tread in contact with the tarmac. Once you've checked around the tread then the next thing to do is to mix up some soapy water. I usually put a small amount of water in a cup and add some washing up liquid. Then get a small paintbrush and mix it in. Then you want to paint around the front edge where the tyre meets the rim. Dab a bit on the valve as well. And what you're looking for is bubbles. As you can see it makes spotting leaks very easy indeed. Leaks that you wouldn't normally be aware of. This is a very common place tyres leak from, as the bead on modern tubeless tyres sits up against a smooth curved edge on the inside and over time this corrodes and gets damaged. So to fix this you need to get the shop to sand over the corroded areas until they're smooth and then use a sealant which should fix the issue. If it's leaking from the valve then you'll have to get a new valve fitted. If it's not leaking from the front edge then you'll have to move over to the tread surface and the rear of the tyre but you'll have to take the wheel off for that although more often it is the front bead edge the valve or the tread surface so there we are small but important things to watch out for instead of just going and buying a new tyre as these can be fixed for very little cost so for two minutes effort you know where you stand and you'll know what's what when you go to the shop i hope this helps you out guys thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video